All right, so if you've just bought this model or have just forgotten how to put the floats on it, then um, first you're gonna wanna assemble the airplane completely and uh, install the landing gear, unless you're going straight to floats. Um, the landing gear here uh, just comes with this metal piece. Uh, it goes down in here. Uh, basically, it's just four screws and uh, this little connector, whatever you call it. It's plastic, uh, really hard plastic, very strong. Uh, these four screws, takes a little Allen wrench right here, don't know what the size is. Um, just four screws, I'll uh, explain here in a second so you guys can see here. Okay, so I've taken the landing gear off of the mall. Uh, basically that's literally just these two screws right here and this little plastic piece that hangs down goes facing towards uh, the back of the fuselage and the tail and you screw those in. These uh, are the ones for the front here. These only will fit in the front. Uh, there's two different ones. So you have these, which go in the front, I think, like I said. Uh, they are bigger, as you can see, compared to these. Um, these ones will go in the back here for the rear part of the floats. And uh, all the screws are the exact same, so they will fit in all of these holes, so it doesn't matter even if you get them messed up. So, <clears throat> now, with the floats, you're going to uh, install these two rods right here. Uh, it, it'll come with uh, eight little set screws, I believe, and you basically just put this in one side about halfway through. You'll see a little edge. It's got a little indent on it. Um, you put the front ones in first. Well, you don't have to. I did. It was a little bit easier. And then uh, these right here, these will connect into the uh, fuselage. Uh, they go towards the back. This one goes towards the back. This one goes towards the front. So these two, if they were uh, closer together, they would run into each other. So these will not be in the way. These straight ones are on the outside these are on the inside so just the four little set screws and then now we're gonna take this and put it into the fuselage when you put them on uh, the curved front end tips right here are gonna go in, towards the front and whichever has the water rudder that is gonna be your left float alright so if I flip this thing over that's gonna be on the left side make sure that one is on the left side and um, basically from there, you're just gonna put these down there. You're gonna have to kind of wiggle them. This back one's a little tight. Uh, the front one is no big deal at all to get in. Um, they can be a little bit difficult, as you can see, and they will be a little bit hard to get the screws on over this piece right here. See the little metal is sticking up and the screw holes. That might be just a little bit hard, but you're just gonna have to push it in. Um, it's not going to hurt it at all. Shouldn't at least. <laughs> and these, this one will go into the front hole. And then you're going to take your, the bigger set right here. And it's going to go right over the holes here. And I would set these in, maybe screw them in with your hand a little bit first. And then... You should be good to go. Um, let me do that real quick. Okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> this uh, front ridge area, hole, whatever you want to call it, that is only for the landing gear. So you're gonna use the back one and then the single one right here that's next to the receiver hatch. Um, that you're gonna need in a minute, so I'm just gonna take that off. And um, now you're just gonna wanna screw these in. Okay, so uh, something else I really didn't figure that I would remember. Um, this little plastic piece right here, i show. The little plastic piece uh, that's hanging down, that is going to go towards the front now. So that's different than when you're putting the landing gear in, the regular landing gear. Um, this way it will fit, and the one that does not have anything in it, um, obviously. So, just, I would screw these down, maybe half and half, 
just do the front floats first and then you can set your ones in the rear in. Okay, so now there's pretty much only one more step to do. Um, that is connect the Y harness that it came with into the receiver, plug the uh, water rudder into it and the regular rudder. So um, basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this, you're gonna find channel four in here. So the fourth one, see it says rudder right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. And just wiggle that out. All right, so the rudder is pulled out. That it goes in channel four. Um, you're gonna take your Y harness. You're gonna take this uh, piece right here. Not any of the doubles, because that won't fit. <laughs> and you're gonna turn it to the side where you see the little metal keys right there um, facing this way if it's upside down. So I'm pretty much just doing that because that's how the, the other ones are working. Um, I'm gonna put that in there. Getting it in there. All right, so once that's done, now you're just gonna take uh, one of these, doesn't really matter. You're gonna plug the water rudder uh, servo connector into one of the Y harness slots. Uh, basically, you're just gonna do yellow to yellow on one side. So if one side's yellow here, uh, the yellow on the other wire should match up. And then the other side will be brown, so it'll be brown on brown. All right, so once you have that completed, basically I just put the wire harness in, connected the uh, servo uh, piece into it. Now that will go into one of the wire harness slots and the water rudder will go into the other. So I'm just basically just gonna kind of throw those down there. Doesn't really matter how you put them trying to put them away from this receiver a little bit don't want it to be on top of it and when you got it it should have came with some zip ties um you don't have to use those i prefer tape i don't know why <laughs> in case i ever wanted to just take the wire off so it doesn't have to be stuck onto the bar right here and not movable um so then you just stick that down there Put the hatch on, and we're pretty much good to go. Make sure everything is plugged in and screwed on, and make sure this is in the right one, and you are good to go. Now just test your water rudder, make sure that's working. Um, it works pretty well in snow and water. I've done both, so um, I think I'll have more videos of that coming. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and hope you learned how to do it if you didn't know how or were confused. Hope that helped.